Declan. You're gonna get a brother today. You're getting a brother. You want that? Well, you don't really have a choice. Um, new year, new cat. That's my motto this year. Maybe it's my motto for the rest of my life. Maybe every year I'm just gonna get a new cat and by 2050, I'm gonna have like, what does that make it? Like 31 cats or something? Anyway, well, I'm a cat lady now. Never thought I'd say that, but I'm getting a new kitten today. Let me explain why. But first, hold on, give me a sec to adjust here because I need, I have some things I need to do. I need to make coffee. Okay, I'll use this cup. This one's cute, right? Ugh, I'm tired. I just don't, okay. Okay, so, oh, well, I'm not ready to talk yet, actually. Okay, now I can talk. I have had my cat Declan for a few months now, and I love him, he's great. He's actually kind of annoying sometimes, but I do love him. <laughs> Stop. Stop. No. I can't. But I do think that he's kind of lonely. I do travel a lot, and I feel guilty, and I know that he misses his mommy, which is me, because, you know, who wouldn't miss me, right? Anyway, so I did some research and I found out that there's actually a lot of benefits. Basically, it's better to have two cats rather than one. That's what we're doing today. I'm making myself a little bit of Chamberlain coffee. Um, go to chamberlaincoffee.com to, to check that out. Okay, now that that's over, now we can get back to the video. Not sponsored. Well, it's my own company, so I don't know how that works. My friend got a kitten recently. I just can't stop rubbing its little belly. I can't stop. Every time I'm at their house, their I just house. wanna I just rub wanna the rub kitten's, kitten's belly. belly. Older cats are fun too, like I actually like Declan at his more mature age, but I wouldn't mind having a little kitten in my life. Right? My fear is that Declan and the kitten won't get along or that Declan will feel neglected by me, but to be completely honest, I would love to have a snuggle party with more than one cat. Imagine this, you know what, I'm a, I'm an independent woman and I sleep in bed every night by myself. I deserve to have multiple cats around me while I'm sleeping. That's like the minimum of what I deserve. Why is my straw not going into my cup? I don't understand. You know, like I was an only child growing up and right now, currently Declan is an only child. And although I did enjoy being an only child, I do think that if I would have had a sibling, I probably would have had a little bit more of an interesting childhood. So I'm gonna give Declan the interesting childhood that he deserves. Declan's been, um, he's in his teen phase and he's loving to play with things such as my furniture, my, my limbs, limbs, such as my fingers, my, fingers, my, ears, my ears, my face, my, face, my, toes, my toes, my knees, my elbows. My elbows. He, likes he likes to, to try to try rip, to them, rip apart. them apart. But I read online that having two cats is better for the owner because they play with each other rather than with your limbs. Stop. Anywho, cheers. Cheers to kitty time. Okay, so we're here. I've been brainstorming some names, even though like I haven't even met the cat yet, but I've been brainstorming some names and I thought I'd share what I've came up with. Well, my number one name right now is Frankie. I wanna name him Frankie. I don't know, it's just is cute. But I also kinda like the name Ronnie. So, Frankie and Ronnie are my number ones. I feel like Frankie's kind of in the running just cause I like the name Frankie. And like Frankie and Declan sounds cute, so. Here are my other name ideas. Gary, Riley, Archie, and Rico. Definitely not gonna name him Rico, but I did think that that one was fun. Well, I mean, I might. I mean, because I love Napoleon Dynamite, the movie, and so kind of wouldn't mind naming him after Uncle Rico from that movie, but... Let's go get Kitty! Okay, update. Kind of disappointing. Kind of disappointing. So I just went in there and I met this cat named Chester and he was very cute, but he's a little bit too old. I kind of want a younger kitten. I'm going to a different shelter now to go check out more cats. I'm hoping that the next place I go to has kittens. Supposedly they do. Crossing my fingers. Okay, listen, Um, I just went into another shelter and I went in and I was in there for about two minutes and they had three kittens total. Two of them were sold and looked exactly like Declan anyway, which I wouldn't have wanted to do because I swear to God, if I get a cat that looks like Declan, I'm gonna start getting them confused and I'm not gonna know who's who and it's gonna be really bad. Anyway, go in there. They have one kitten available for adoption. It is a little tiny, mean female cat, which is basically the opposite of everything I want. I want a nice cat and I want a male cat. I mean, she was really sweet, but she just was really, hated me. She was hissing at me and I took it personal. So that's not working out. So now we're going on to our third adoption center. So I need to fucking hurry over there before they run out of their fucking kittens because apparently kittens are in high demand. Please pray for me. I want a cat. Is this like a sign that I shouldn't be getting a cat? 
Mm-hmm. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up till I go home with a cute, cute ass fucking kitten. I am not going home without one. I'm about to meet a few kittens. They're actually all female. So I wasn't expecting that, but looks like I might be getting a little mama kitty. So. Okay, so here's Frankie. Meet Frankie, my new baby kitty. She's so pretty. Her original name was Baby Spice. And that was obviously not gonna not gonna work. So we're naming her Frankie. And she's my new bestie. She wants to explore Baby, baby Spice. Spice. Please, please, please stop, stop crawling. crawling. Stop, stop, stop to scratching. scratching. I think we're gonna get along just fine. So me and Frankie ruling the world all 2020 and until death do us part. She's purring, I think she likes me. I really hope she likes me. I'm zooming in so that you can see us better. She wants to explore, but it's just not the right time. It's not the not right, the time, right time, time, kitty. Okay, okay, she's purring. So I think that means she likes me. Thumbnail. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna shut up now. Anyway, this is my last pet for like probably the next 30 years. So actually, I'll probably get a dog in like 10 years, but give me 10 years to do that. I do want a dog. I saw the cutest dog. I saw the cutest dogs in there. It was not okay. Literally such a cute, oh, they were so cute. I would love to have adopted those. Anyway, okay, let's go home. Okay, all right, okay. Oh. We're home. It's time to let Kitty out of the cage. She's so chill. Like she just slept the whole way home. She was meowing for a little bit and then she just fell asleep. She's killing it. She's killing it. She's absolutely slaying. Um, she's, she looks great. She's super tiny. I'm pretty happy with my decision. She's adventurous. Here's a little toy, do you wanna play? I'm excited for them to meet each other, but for now it's just this time of, of stress. It's this time of stress. Hopefully they like each other so that they can play and be besties like I want them to be. Knock on wood. Where's some wood? Okay, I can't reach the wood under there. Where's wood? Somebody please. <coughs> She's trying to go in the toilet right now. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not gonna happen, girl. There we go. I'm a mom now, mom to two. Um, my kids are my pride and joy. I love them so much. Hope you guys enjoy. That's the end of this video. <laughs>